So I was uh, checking out in the store and she's like, well, let me give you your uh, hero's discount. I'm like hero. She's like, yeah, you're a hero. I said, I said, ma'am, I do paperwork and make phone calls for a living. That's what I do. I'm no hero. <laughs> I post memes on the internet all day. So anyways, um, as I was on my way to work to be a hero, um, <laughs> do paperwork and make phone calls. I was thinking that I really enjoy this phase of my life and this age that I'm at. Um, something that is a, a value that I hold very dear to me is authenticity. And it took quite a bit of work and experience and age and maturity to get to the point where I live authentically with my thoughts, my feelings, my actions by not being uh, motivated or conditioned by other people's opinions or words. And as I live in this authentic reality, I also express myself and my feelings and my thoughts um, quite directly. And I told a grown 28 year old man uh, recently, I said, that is the dumbest fucking idea I've ever heard. And you're a complete idiot. And it felt really good. It felt really good to just kind of live authentically. <laughs> really good. You know, in my personal life, in my professional life at work, um, I, you know, every facet of my life, I speak my mind within the confines of respect and dignity um, and tact, being tactful, how I use my words and what I say. But uh, I, it's, it brings this sense of freedom to be able to speak your mind and not worry about what people think about you or recourse. You know, I'm at this point in my career where I'm three years from retiring. Hey, it is what it is. I'm here to do my job, protect my sailors make sure my sailors succeed and then go home that's it you know so it, it, it brings a sense of freedom to be able to live authentically